Uncertainty, that is, by far, the biggest problem you have as a busker. Dealing with uncertainty. Especially if you're a full-timer. I think as a busker, there are so many times you have to deal with uncertainty. Whether it's just on the day you're busking, where you don't know if other buskers are going to be in the spots, whether you'll get a spot, whether you'll make any donations, whether it'll go well, whether people will like you. And then there are greater uncertainties like, is this gonna work out in the long run? If I get sick and I can't busk for a while, what do I do then? Will the good times roll back around? And if you can't handle that in your brain, then it makes life very difficult. Oh, this is so good. Oh. So, it's been a week a week and a couple days and I've had a cold dare I say it I might have even had the C word and I have not been able to even really talk let alone sing and I've been dealing with the uncertainty let me tell you for me it's not even having to deal with the fact that I'm not doing my bread and butter days I'm not making the money I usually make in order to pay bills that's not what gets me what gets me most is that I'm, I'm unable to do the thing that I love the most. The thing that brings me so much joy and connection with other people. And it's hard. I really want to get out today. But I don't think my voice is... I don't think my voice is going to work. Oh. Oh, it's even a super nice day. Oh, the weather is even good. You can't even be certain of the weather when you're a busker. You depend on it so much and living in the UK, you can't always guarantee it's gonna be good. So you feel like you should be out there when it is good. And that can be hard to deal with. <sighs> I think I'm gonna go outside anyway. Let's go outside. transferred my tea to a travel mug. The thing is, is busking to me, it's, it's not just a, a job or, or a way of, of earning money. It, playing and performing music is what makes me feel like me. It makes me feel incredible. And this sort of endorphin rush of getting to do it on a daily basis, you really feel it when it's not there, when it's missing. And seeing as I've had to have the last 10 or so days off busking. Not just off busking, but I, I had to miss doing my busking road trip where I was gonna record a, a bunch of videos in, in new places, which I'm absolutely gutted I didn't get to do. But I thought I'd use this video to talk about the, I guess the more negative side of doing this as a full-time thing whilst trying to pursue a music career. But don't worry, it's me. There's always a positive spin. Look at this. Life can't be bad when you get to do this. So in this video, I'm gonna go through five different things that I think are, are some of the harder problems to deal with and things to be prepared for if you are gonna go into this lifestyle with the idea of doing it full time. But even if you're not, and I'm gonna do this, one, because it helps me process things, two, because it gives you some idea of what goes on behind the scenes behind all of the performing and the playing but also maybe you feel these things too and by talking about them it helps each other my fellow buskers it's good to talk about some of the things that are harder about this lifestyle but don't get me wrong i wouldn't want to change it one bit you can hear my voice eh <clears throat> i did try to sing this morning but it didn't go very well so yeah Uncertainty is definitely the top number one thing that you're bound to feel as a busker. And how you deal with that uncertainty is how you're gonna get through some of the tougher times. 
some of the periods where it's drier where you don't make so much or where health means you can't busk or, or the weather means you can't busk i think it's important that us buskers learn to be okay with uncertainty because just like everything in life it comes in waves you have really good times and you have times that aren't so good and in the times that aren't so good it can feel the toughness can feel so overwhelming that you, you, you want to make rash decisions maybe you feel like suddenly quitting and just going to get something stable going into a stable career you see your friends who work corporate jobs who get salaries take their sick leave so here's how i deal with uncertainty so firstly i just remind myself that nothing is certain even in the safest lines of work living in the most comfortable bubble it's still not certain i remind myself that even people who work quote unquote safe jobs they're not guaranteed anything the corporation could fall apart any minute they might be laid off during the pandemic i really kind of woke up to that it was part of the reason why i just decided i would quit my job and start relying on myself because much as it feels uncertain to do this life there's actually probably more guarantee when the only person you rely on is yourself sure i might get sick or the weather might be bad but as soon as it clears up i can go out busking again i can do the thing i love and in turn that that earns me a living i can go and play the gigs i can work on my music career as and when i want to and not relying on anyone actually means it's more certain the uncertainty is just a feeling and like every feeling it comes and it goes as a busker i had to come away from the old framework of what i used to do for work and, and that was where i had a monthly salary because as a busker you don't have to worry about what you make month to month it's not about that you have to remember that people all over the world do it differently there are people who work in seasons and they, they earn all their money in a season for, for what they need and then they take a whole season off. There are people who work in projects where, where they might get an, an entire year's salary in one transaction. These are all possibilities. So for me, it was all about shifting my mindset from that idea that I had to always be working on doing something. And just because what you're working on doesn't necessarily earn you money yet, like me and this YouTube channel and my other endeavors in music besides busking and gigs, that doesn't mean it's not good work. In fact, some of the best work is the work you do without getting paid yet. <laughs> Which brings me on to the second thing I want to talk about. But first, I'm just going to enjoy the sea for a bit longer. One of the reasons I love living in Brighton is because no matter what day of the week it is, no matter what's going on, there's always just people enjoying the beach, enjoying the seaside. And it reminds you, you can relax. Life isn't all about working and paying taxes. And I always think that if your basic needs are met and they're not the things you're worried about, then you have no excuse but to take it in and be grateful for it. Ah, so the second point I want to talk about that you need to be aware of at least when it comes to being a busker is dealing with the judgment of others. You can say as much as you like, I don't care what people think. And me personally, I, I really don't worry much about what people think. But that doesn't mean you're gonna not deal with comments here and there, uh, with people saying certain things. You know, the general public sometimes could view you as lazy, not getting a proper job or whatever that means. And then the loved ones in your life, they might be concerned for you. Saying to somebody who works a proper job might be alarmed when you tell them that you're going to pursue a life as a musician they might not understand this idea of earning money in seasons or in projects and they might be terrified if you were to tell them that you've just been the last 10 days without really earning anything but what youtube makes you and you've got to learn to handle that block it out not let it into your subconscious, particularly during times of uncertainty. I feel really lucky that I have Laura, my partner, who is super understanding of me and my lifestyle and actually encourages me. She tries to help me through these uncertain times, tells me it's gonna be all right. So if you can find someone like that, then hold on to them 
and make sure you let them know how much they mean to you. I think I'm going to use today to restring my guitar. I don't recommend doing this at home, but check it out. This is how bad my voice is at the moment. A Sunday morning, man, she woke up bad and mad. Not too bad. Is she in the morning, no one at home by the time I did. Getting worse. In by Tuesday. Okay, <laughs> enough of that. And that's why I'm not busking today. I mean, sure, I could just go out and play guitar, but it's not the same. Plus, I'm August Radio Project trying to make a music career as August Radio Project. I don't want people thinking ARP is some dude who just whittles on a guitar. You have to think about the bigger picture here. It's not about those daily occurrences. These and this. String repair essentials. So yeah, judgment from other people. The first thing you've got to know is you're not lazy. This lifestyle is far from lazy. It takes a lot of hard work, a lot of effort. Being a musician means putting 100% forward and getting 10% back most of the time. And you have to do that for a long time before you see that 10% increasing. A long time. Anyone that calls you lazy is probably worried about how lazy they're actually being. Martin 13s are my string of choice. Thick. Don't wear down so quickly. The other thing to remember with this is life isn't about being wealthy or chasing the dreams of other people. It's about doing what you really want to do with it. Like I said, if you're born into a, a position enough that you get to actually have a chance to pursue the thing you want to, then you've got to go for it. That's how you become rich in life and experience. And I can't tell you how good busking is for that. One of the reasons I hate not doing it is because I miss that connection with people. I miss lighting people up and, and watching the music I play connect with them and make their, their day. It's hard to go without that when you're so used to doing it day in, day out. Whenever I restring a guitar, I always take all the strings off and then start with the inner two and then work my way outwards. I don't know why, that's just how I do it. If you ever want a guitarist to get on with it, then take the guitar out of their hands, because otherwise they're just gonna sit there playing it. I guess the real iteration here about the judgment thing is just, you've got to do what matters to you most, regardless of what other people say or do. And those that love you, they'll start to understand, no matter how long it takes, show them. Show them that you're not gonna be doing anything else. And they've either gotta love you for it, Oh, that's on them. Easier said than done, but the truth. Oh dear. So I guess the third thing, and something I've kind of already touched up on, but the third thing you have to deal with, that it can be a real problem, is getting sick. Like I've been for the last 10 days. <clears throat> Sometimes I worry that once I get like this, <clears> that it's never gonna go away. And I'll just sing like this forever. Check it out. These are the paintings I did the other week. This one's finished. This one isn't finished yet. Uh, but I did them when um, I wasn't able to go on my road trip. Had to do something creative with that time. Find it hard to not do anything, especially when I've got it in my head. That's that I'm gonna do something. It's just part of it, part of being me. So yeah, getting sick is less than ideal. One thing I've found since I've been busking full time is it's an incredibly physically demanding lifestyle. It's not sitting at a desk. On the days where I just sit down and edit these videos, I can't tell you how much more energy I have by the end of the day. And I'm a pretty physical person. I enjoy running and I do lots of yoga. But you're out and about, you're on your feet all day. You're carrying equipment, you're pushing the trolley, and then you're singing for hours, three, four hours. Back when I was in um, the musical, I was in, in March, even during the rehearsal days, the maximum amount we'd sing is about two hours. And that for the other fellow actors, well, that was a lot. 
for me it was like half of what I usually do, man. It's not normal to be singing this much. At least I don't think so. And it's part of the reason you get so good by busking. Because you're just rehearsing for so long. So many hours compared to anyone else. But with that comes more risk of, of getting sick, of, of damaging your body. And you have to be mindful of it. It's not something you can abuse. Because as some people have left comments on other videos, you could end up doing long-term damage. And that's the last thing you want. And this is definitely something I'm really trying to take on board and learn. And every time I get sick, I have to learn it a bit more. Hence why I've not busked today. And I was going to. This video is going to be me busking. Shocking. I think the point I'm really trying to make here is you have to look after your health. Health comes first. No matter how much you want to get out there, you want to play, you want to get the donations rolling in because you're worried about how you're going to pay your bills. No matter how overwhelming those feelings are, put your health first. Because if you screw your health up long term, then this lifestyle's over. And that is the worst nightmare, literally. I'm absolutely loving how thriving the comment sections of all my videos are. The subscribers to this channel are just so rad. And honestly, in these times, it really keeps me going. I feel so grateful to be working on a YouTube channel alongside everything else I do. I mean, it all kind of ties into one for me, right? I make these videos about busking, about being a musician, and then I get to focus on making the videos, putting them out to you. And, and through it, we've built like a little community, a little place to talk about these things. Which brings me on to the fact that it isn't just your physical health you've got to look after. Us musicians are fragile. It's no surprise. A creative mind has a lot of room to think and that can mean mental health struggles get quite real, especially in times of uncertainty. I wonder if other YouTubers who are only at 1400 subscribers get as many notifications as I do on the daily. Not a day goes past where I don't get at least three or four comments or a couple of messages on Instagram. I've even got some exciting news regarding some equipment that is being sent to me. But stay tuned for that in a future video. Wild. I think the truth is, is like, mental health, it's all about talking to people. Part of the reason I love having this YouTube community and having this channel is it allows me to meet fellow buskers both online and in real life. And I think we have to have open conversations about how, you know, these these things can affect your mental health. You know, dealing with the uncertainty. And honestly, the best, the best thing is to talk about it. And you're always welcome to give me a message if you're feeling like things aren't going quite right with your busking or your music. Because there's nothing better than when a fellow busker or a fellow musician just tells you to hang in there. That can be, that can be the thing that keeps you going. And you never know, that might take you to Ed Sheeran level. That pivotal moment, you never know. By the way, I am by no means a professional. If you need proper help, then make sure you seek out professional help. But I'm here to listen, especially if it's to do with music, busking. I have a good friend, Glenn, Glenn Palmer, the classical guitar player. We run into each other all the time. And me and him have had several deep conversations about this lifestyle, about how it can affect up here, but ultimately, that wave usually washes over you and you end up back in that kind of good feeling, good vibe. <laughs> it's hard to escape. So my fourth point, something you're gonna have to consider, something that you might have to deal with, a problem you might face is losing focus. Especially in these long stretches where things don't really go your way. But also in the times where things are going really well, you've gotta stay focused or on the bigger picture, I think. Busking can be overwhelming. The dry spells can be overwhelming. And you might get offers from elsewhere. You might get offers for a different job, a different line of work, something that feels a little safer, something that offers sick pay. But that's when you've got to really hold your focus. What is it you really want out of life? Do you want a life of freedom, autonomy? where you get to do what you love day in, day out. Don't lose focus. Let the wave wash over 
and enjoy the good times as soon as they roll around. Work towards something a little bigger, a little bigger than you. It doesn't have to be a YouTube channel like this. Use your music, your ability as a musician to help others, to be of service in some way. That's what you're here to do, right? That's why you felt called cool to do it in the first place. Don't lose focus. Because, as we all know, as tempting as those offers might be, the honeymoon period might feel sweet, feel amazing, but as soon as it wears away, that music will be calling. And there is only one way this doesn't go the way you want it to, and that's when you walk off the path. As long as you're on the path, even if you're only moving at a snail's pace, as long as you're moving forward on the path, nothing can go wrong. It only feels wrong in the moment. But tomorrow's a new day, and you might wake up and your throat is as good as ever. The sun will be shining. Your equipment will work again. One thing that I've really tried to do over the last three years is reframe every what if to a positive. What if the magic actually happens? Rather than what if the magic doesn't happen at all. And in my experience, if you follow that mantra, things really start working out. I mean, I'm witnessing it right here with this YouTube channel. This is like all I've ever wanted. And knowing that keeps me focused. It means I can ride out this cold. Here's some wise words that have been in a video before from my friend Ash Cooper, a fellow busker from Wolverhampton. Charity to people, I give people my time. Yeah, yeah. I counsel them, they counsel me. That's to me. Yeah, yeah. Is what a busker is. You're like a pillar of the community. A pillar like of you the say. community. That's what a busker should be. Yeah, yeah. I'm not here. I am here to make money. They all know that. Yeah, yeah. But if you want something from me, take it. Yeah, yeah. This is what I'm here I'm for. I'm here for you. I'm here for you. Yeah, yeah. I am your musician. Yeah, the, yeah. The people's music. Yeah. And the third and final problem that you're definitely going to encounter, it's a nice problem to have, is the fact that nothing else compares. I can't imagine a life where I don't do this. And no matter how many setbacks come my way, no matter how many times I get sick, even if, I don't know, my hand fell off, I would find a way. Because this is, this is what I love. This is what I feel cool to do every day. I wake up every morning grateful that, that this is what I found at such a young age as well. I was 11 when I picked up the guitar. And I dedicate so much time to it. And sometimes I think I owe it to my youth. I owe it to that 11 year old to just carry on on this path because it brings me so much joy. And I watch it bring joy to others every time I head out. If I ever try and imagine myself going down a different path, trying something else, I just can't. I just can't imagine it. It's not a problem as such, but it does mean that I will focus on nothing else. I will do everything. Every ounce of energy I have in every single cell of my body, I will, I will spend towards making this life work. And that's a vow I've made to myself. But also something that I can't back out of because I just can't. I can't live life any other way. And maybe comment down below if you can relate. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've found some value in it and I hope I've made it as entertaining as it possibly can be. It's been a difficult week for me because I didn't get those videos recorded last week. I didn't get to go on my road trip and I haven't really been able to busk. As musicians, it's rad in, in a lot of ways that there is always something to do. You can always be writing a song, you can always be practicing. And then as somebody that makes YouTube videos, there really isn't a a moment where I don't have something I can be getting on with. Whether that's editing a video, editing shorts, replying to comments, making new artwork, answering emails, and then getting gigs, replying to promoters. There's always something going on and I'm grateful for that. But it doesn't mean that these low moments don't happen. Even for somebody who has such a positive outlook like me. I really hope that next week I can be back to my usual with a nice clear throat and hopefully the sun will be out and shining. And all I can say to you is happy busking. And if you're not busking for whatever reason, just know that you can and you will eventually get out of there. I am August Radio Project. I make videos, they come out every Monday on this channel. So maybe give this one a like if you did like it. 
hit subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to give me an online donation, then the super thanks button is where to do it. And if you are a true fan, then turn those notifications on. Also, real quick, I have written up some busking guides. Written versions of the videos I make where I go to different places and I busk in them and I tell you where the good spots are and the council guidelines. I've made like a two page document for some of the places. I'm gonna make a bunch more. They're free. You have to download them from this site called Koji, which is just a platform I'm using to host them. I've done this because a bunch of people have messaged me asking me about the guidelines and all the, the good spots in certain areas and I thought that this would just be a good way not to have to sift through the video, especially if you're actually in the place. Say you get to Brighton Station, you're like, where was that spot he said? You can just have that downloaded and it, and it will be there. There's a map on them, it shows you where all the spots are. There's a link to that in the description below. I will see you next week. In the meantime, you can watch one of the many videos on the channel and um, just peace, love, happiness. Look after yourselves, up here, here, around here, everywhere. <laughs> See you later. These products were sent to me for free with the agreement that I review them. <laughs> That's the, the only agreement. Oh my God. Right, I haven't had a new guitar seven years ago. Well, never. This is what I've gone for. Oh my goodness. Oh wow, oh my goodness. Look at that wood. <sighs> I'm gonna just take this in for a second. This is my life. I'm like shaking, man. I never thought I'd get sent a guitar. Even though like that was the plan all along, you know, to be a successful YouTuber. Oh, dude. <sighs> Let's play it.